I'm Rika and thanks for visiting my channel. In this video, we will talk about how to add ribbon to a tree, how to do a tree topper, ornament placement, and adding florals. Let's get started. The first thing I like to do is add ribbon. So you see me here scrunching. I made a tail. I'm making the very first loop. I'm going to scrunch again, flip it to the back side, and then bring it straight up to make a bow. That last working ribbon, I'm going to turn it around and see the pretty side. Let's do it again. Six inch tail, scrunch it, turn it upside down, make a loop, make your first loop, and then pinch and turn your ribbon. Bring it straight up to where you first started, scrunch again, and then turn that ribbon around so that you see everything pretty. So now I'm just gonna place all that into the tree. I like to do that because this is, in my opinion, the easiest way to add a ribbon to a tree. You're also gonna see that I'm gonna take the branch of the tree and wrap it around that ribbon. This ensures that it will stay in place. And by doing it, going deep into the tree, wrapping it around that ribbon, it ensures that the ribbon looks like it's growing from the tree. So I'm gonna do that all the way around. I have also cut my ribbon into five feet strips. This makes it really easy to add. Also, I love your comments. You guys have been so sweet and so encouraging. Please leave me a comment, send a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I love hearing from you guys and hopefully this is helping you to have a better decorated Christmas tree. Okay, so I want to bring you up top to do the topper of the tree. First thing I do is decide my centerpiece. So do that, put it right down the center. And I'm gonna treat I'm gonna treat this just like it's a floral arrangement, okay? So I'm gonna decide my centerpiece first, and then I'm going to have my filler elements to go all the way around it. So I've decided I want these, and this works for whatever your theme is. And this is going to be my highest one. And I can take a branch and wrap it around this to ensure that height. Perfect. So decide what you want to be the highest and then you can work your way around from there. So I have I have these picks that I just got. And what I'm going to do to make it go further is I'm gonna cut them at the joints and then I'm gonna put them around my centerpiece. Let's talk about ornament placement. The first thing I like to do is get close to my tree to see if I can see through the tree to the wall. If you can do that, you need to put an ornament there. And see when I come up through here, do you see that hole in there? I can look straight through the tree and see the wall. So I'm gonna try to fill that hole. Okay, so now you can see I placed an ornament here to keep you from looking through the tree. If we look a little bit closer, we can even see a bigger ornament in the back. Once again, this is to block my view from not seeing the wall. Next up is floor placement. I have a glittered fern pick from Hobby Lobby and a gold bay leaf pick from the at-home store. And I'm gonna take the two of these and I'm gonna layer them and then place them on the tree in a diamond pattern. I'm gonna start at the bottom of the diamond and then I'll move the course to the top and then we'll do both of the sides. And I'm just going to do this diamond pattern all the way around the tree. And this just ensures that I have even placement all throughout the tree, that the tree looks coherent and one full idea all the way around the tree. place them around the tree. I got one per foot of tree, so I have a total of seven of those. 
The very last thing I like to do is I like to ice my tips of the tree. So these are the icicles that I like to get from Hobby Lobby at half price every year. So I put them on there and I'm wrapping the string around the branch of the tree so you don't see that. And that just gives me that final elegant look. I hope you really like it. So I have some other videos coming up. I'm looking to do a black and white tree. Stay tuned for that. In the meantime, you can check out my decor from previous years. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video.